Hello, everyone. This is Tommy at World at War Comics. Thanks for joining us this week. We have another amazing guest. This time we're speaking to Demetrius Zaharakis. He is the founder of Black Box Comics and the creator of all kinds of great titles like Militia, Bigs and Tiny, Dr. Wilder. But before we get into this next video and you hear this amazing interview, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. That really helps out the channel. Um, and also turn that ring on. That way you are notified whenever a new interview drops. But without further ado, here's Demetrius and I discussing everything there is to, to know within the industry. We had a really great conversation. Demetrius is an amazing human being. I think you're going to enjoy this. Thanks, everyone. Talk soon. Well, hello, Demetrius. How are you, my friend? Thanks for joining us today at World at War Comics. Good, Thomas. Man. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, you bet. You bet. I, I know we had a little conversation before I hit record. I'm like, wait, Demetrius, this is good stuff, bro. We, we want to make sure that the rest of the audience gets to hear it, man. But um, welcome to the show. Again, I, I was just sharing with you that uh, I love independent comics and uh, I came across Black Box. And of course, the first name that I noticed right away was the legend uh, Chuck Dixon, the Batman family legend. And uh, then I'm like, man, I got to check out this company. So I just ordered a bunch of different things and they all came in and I'm I'm digging in. I think Ninja Caden was the first one. I'm like, this is pretty awesome, man. So, yeah, uh, yeah man, great, uh, great stuff that you're putting out there. I'm hoping that other fans uh, come across it. It's I think it's blackboxcomics.net. Uh, right. And uh, there you could check it all out. But, man, let's start from the beginning, Demetrius. Man, uh, let's talk about you first before we get into the, the company. Where, where did comics and the passion for comics start um, in your life? So... I mean, I've always been into it since I was a kid and, uh, yeah. you know, always had my running to the store and gathering whatever pennies you could and then pick <laughs> up your, your, your doll 99 cent copy or whatever it was at the time. Um, but I, as I got older, I kind of got out of the game. I, I mean, I always had some touch with it. Yeah. Um, but, um, I, I was doing uh banking for like almost 20 years. Okay. Um, and then, uh, I decided to kind of write my first title. I don't know if you saw it, it yeah yeah uh based on that character yeah. and 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 trying to like make him like sort of a detective within the banking system yeah and he kind of uncovers corruption and it, <laughs> i i thought it was like a fun story to tell and something different to do within the comic community um you know away from the capes and stuff like that right 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 so with it was this um pre uh black box this was something you did as an independent and then black box came out of that yeah, I mean, I started off with that idea, yeah. and uh, as I was developing it, um, I was like, oh, I have all these other ideas in my head that I'd like to do now. Yeah. I'm getting the hang of it. I was learning kind of how everything worked, um, mm -hmm. and I was just getting my feet wet, and, and I was learning from other pros in the industry, even other indie people, um, and you know, everybody was like gracious enough to give whatever uh advice they had and, and and but there was still a lot to learn on your own and, and sure sometimes you just got to jump into the fire to figure it out yeah yeah uh, so you know it was a big shift from going from being a it <laughs> and banking to being a publisher and creator yeah uh, yeah for sure that, that's but, a little yeah, shift I, the, the good thing was i i had a handle on it because i understood that world yeah and it, it made me comfortable enough where i could kind of focus on the rest of the process and how everything works um but yeah once once we got going man i just i just kept coming up with more and more stuff and right now i'm at the point where i have like 15 titles that i'm working on yeah <laughs> that's crazy man so yeah. what, what comic book i had the most influence on you growing up was there a certain title that like this is my title and and maybe you've patterned some things after i don't i don't think anything particular that i've followed in terms of like influence or anything really um but i, I mean i was a big daredevil fan growing yeah, up yeah. Uh, I, sure. I was more of a marvel fan than a dc fan but i was yep. definitely a batman fan yeah yeah uh, you know uh, like deathstroke joker you know like oh like, yeah i mean those are all great characters uh and and you know it sometimes it depended on who was the artist and who were the writers? Because sometimes we would like to follow them. And I, was, yeah. I was a big fan of like Romita Senior. Romita mm -hmm. Junior was great, um, uh, and I was following Romita Junior actually on the Daredevil run back then with Ann Osenti. He was doing yeah. I'm trying to remember what else. I, I, I mean, I was a little bit all over the place, but Daredevil was really more my focus at, from what I remember. You know. 
get sure. notes. So I can remember everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, being a New Yorker, it makes sense, right? <laughs> Hell's Kitchen, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was great. Uh, awesome. And, and I saw him as a character who constantly fought, no matter how hard he got hit, got yeah. back up. You know, that mentality I thought was uh was great. So I mean, I love that part of it. That's awesome, man. So, what year did Black Box officially become this publisher of all these uh great uh, comics? Uh, we, we uh this month we just hit our sixth year. Nice, nice. So yeah, Mar- uh, March uh, twenty seventeen was the launch of IT number yep. one. Um, so yeah, we hit six years, and it's been a tough six because you know you had a uh, COVID in between, and and, yeah. and that kind of slowed everything down. I think sure. for retailers, fans, and everybody, publishers. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, e- even printers were slowed down a lot, yeah. you know, yeah. lack of paper, you know, there was a whole bunch of uh, problems to deal with. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think we've managed to do really well. And, you know, during, during COVID, cause a lot of stuff was closed down. We had a lot of online sales. And yeah. So it, it worked out, um, mm-hmm. but it, but it definitely changed and shifted and, and now it shifted back. Um, so it's, it's good. Um, yeah. Every book is, pretty much outselling the previous book nice so it shows our growth yeah uh, and then our social media presence like we have a, a good amount of follow followers on there i think we have like eighteen thousand on facebook and forty thousand plus on instagram wow uh, you know so yeah i mean it's we're gaining momentum which is great that's awesome man congratulations not easy yeah. to do demetrius not easy to do man it's tough man i mean uh <laughs> i i, I you know, I, I talk with other people. And I try to give them advice too. Um, and 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 the thing is, it's a long game. You got to take it yeah. one title at a time. Yeah, yeah, you for sure. You try to put out too much. You can't overwhelm the industry. You can't overwhelm retailers. Yeah. Um, you, you can't try to compete with the big two and yeah. put out a hundred titles. It's just not not going to work out. Right not going to happen, right? <laughs> not right now. Not, not right, right now. now. Not right. One day. One day. One day. Maybe one day. Yeah. So after IT, right, that's the first published comic under Black Box. What was the second one? Militia. Militia. All right. I'm glad you, you brought up Militia, man. How you get Chuck Dixon to, so, to help with that one, man? That's pretty so amazing. When I, when I started out IT, I, I everybody from the IT team was basically from DC pretty much. Okay. Um, and then um, Scott actually referred Chuck and you know i mean that's how i met chuck and we talked and i told him my idea and chuck was in uh his father served in the military and yeah he's written i'm sure plenty of books uh in the military genre sure and he was a good fit for that um yeah. so he, he did an excellent job i mean reading the script i felt like i was reading a movie you know <laughs> you know watching the movie i should say yeah um, yeah it was really really good um and then the third one was cyclist with uh Kevin Grievous, I've heard him say so. Uh, he's the guy who created Underworld and yeah. My Frankenstein. And, um, I talk to him every now and then, and he's a good guy. And uh, I thought that concept was great, uh, where a former FBI agent becomes a therapist and gets mm-hmm. involved in his patients' lives. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So then, after uh, Militia and Cyclist, then we get into was it Doctor Wil- Wilder? No, it was uh, Project Icarus. Oh, okay, Project Icarus. Yep, I didn't. I didn't purchase that one, so I'm not super familiar with that one. Can you uh, get us up to speed on that one? Yeah, so um, it's a cop turned cor- correction officer, mm-hmm. um, and he's thrown into a bloodbath when an experiment of the infamous killer, the slasher, goes wrong. Yeah, and they're basically experimenting on all the prisoners. Wow! And they start to get superpowers, and they they all break out. And now he's tasked with or self-tasked to go out, either kill them or bring them back. Uh, okay. I got to jump on that one, man. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, the action, everything is, is great. It's really yeah. good. Andy Owens is the guy who wrote it. Um, he's worked for Marvel DC. Yeah. Uh, he, he was, he's mostly known as being an inker though, but he's written a couple of stories. Yeah. Uh, and you know, uh, Patrick Blaine, I think he worked for top cow and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Tio Gonzalez, the colorist. He was actually the colorist on IT. Oh, cool! Uh, and we also had Claudia Giuliani was a colorist. I uh, was on issue one, mm-hmm. so we, we had a really good team. I mean, it was yeah. really. Good. That's awesome, man. I mean, how hard is it to 
to kind of put that team together and to hold them so that they uh, they want to stick around, man. I, is, I, it, is it a I constant mean, no, kind of wheel that goes around where you're you're constantly looking for colorists and pencilers and all that good stuff, or yeah, or do you I have mean, a pretty? A of, it's a lot of work. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't just fill in the hole with just anybody. I, sure. I really I, I like to write the story and fill in the artist and the colorist and the letterer with as we go to see who fits that. Um and, and it's hard to keep the same team sometimes. I mean, they would get other opportunities, they might sure. get someone who offers more. Yeah, yeah. Um, you you might not be ready, it might be a scheduling conflict. Sure. Um, so there's all sorts of things that go in. But uh you know, everybody I've worked with has put out their best um yeah. and, and and i see it in the books in each title the qualities there the stories there sure um, absolutely you can't, hit a, you can't hit a home run every single time yeah I know we would all love to <laughs> uh, but but at the end of the day i think nobody could complain about our quality it all comes down to whether you like the genre or that type yeah. of story and, and yeah. you may or may not like that. no for sure i mean just the the titles that i did pick up there's a lot of consistency that I've seen across all titles when it comes to especially art and colorist. I mean, it's very high quality. That's why I was super impressed, Demetrius, when I picked up. I think I picked up uh, Militia and uh, Ninja Caden was the first two that I picked up. And I really enjoyed them. So then I'm like, well, let's go back on the website. And I just ordered like issue one or two, uh, the first like two issues of every title almost that I could find on there. And man, it's been a lot of fun kind of digging through the worlds that have been created in. A lot of them too. They've been picked up by other like publishers, like the guy in uh, Militia. Uh, I believe he's working on something for Marvel or was. Yeah. Wow. Uh, guy, the guy on Bigs and Tiny, Federico Sabatini. He was he was working, I think, on Spider Man and Al Moon Knight. Mm. Um, Lucas Mayer, who did Ninja Kaidan, is working on Titans Blood for DC. Oh wow! So you know um, the talent's being recognized. So I'm happy sure. to see that. You know. So, yeah. I'm definitely picking the right people and those people are uh, executing. Yeah, 100%. definitely, man. You know, that's gotta, that's gotta feel really good, man. When you, uh, when you're sharing talent like that with the big two, man, that means you're doing yeah. something right. Yeah. And especially if they're like good people, you want to, you want to see that people are noticing sure. and they're, they're getting name recognition and then hopefully great pay, you know? Um, yeah. That's important. You know, what is the, the, I'll do this two part, right? The positive and the negative. Um, let's start with the negative and get that out of the way. What is like the the one the most difficult thing about trying to run a, a comic book company like this? Is there like one thing, or is there just several things? And I, I don't want to say like in a negative way, right? But they're just a frustration, right? It just there are frustrations. I think. I don't know if I could pick one thing. I mean, there's because you get frustrated <laughs> about a lot of things, right? Like you want sales to go up, you want yeah, schedules yeah. to match, you want you know you, budgets to work. It's it's everything. Oh you know? yeah. I, I don't have like one big thing that I'm like overly focused on and worried about. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the, I mean, the biggest thing is people want want to make money, right? That that's yeah. the biggest thing. Um, For sure. Obviously, you want to enjoy what you do, which I already do, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, but but you also have to understand and accept what the industry is able to take in. Sure, and, sure. And, and for retailers, you know, um, they've done a great job supporting indies, and that's part yeah. of the reason why indies have grown. Mm -hmm. uh, also, indie people are putting out more diverse books. Yeah, uh, better quality books. Um, so, so everybody's stepping up their game and, and yeah. you know, it, it's gaining a lot of traction. Um, so yeah, I, I don't have like a particular thing that I'd be like yeah. frustrated about, but the, yeah. you know, there's frustrations and it's just part of the business. Sure. For sure. Absolutely. All right. What's the most rewarding thing, um, that you could pinpoint or, and maybe it's not just one thing either, but like, what are some of the things that you really enjoy, um, seeing happen after you've. I mean, definitely the final product. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Um, and, and I enjoy when the team is really happy and excited about it. Like right now we have Dream Master that's out. Yeah. And, uh, they're, they're all, they love the series. They're so excited about it. The writer yeah. went and got a custom pop of Dream Master. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, they message me all the time. I really love this series. Yeah. Uh, um, even on Devil's Dominion, I'm actually working on Volume Two and Volume Three. Nice. 
Um, and those guys love that series. And, yeah. and we're, we're almost, uh, I think we're almost done with the volume three art. Um, so, I mean, that will come out like 10 straight issues. Okay. Because we already got the first five out. So we're going to have 10 more straight come out. Nice. So to me, that, that's rewarding when they enjoy it because I yeah, want them to yeah. feel like they spent their time and their love for this and that it was worth it in the end, you know? Um, the other thing is, when you go to shows or comic shops to do signings and you're meeting other people and, and they, yeah. they're enjoying what you're doing for sure. And, and that that's a great feeling when someone's like really loving the product that you've brought out. And, and absolutely. And if, they, and if they can connect with it, if they can, uh, you know, share it with their friends, whatever, whatever that causes in any positive way, I think is great. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty awesome, man. And, and I could definitely uh, see that. So, uh, you know, after, uh, so where did, like, I guess my question is, man, you, the diversity of some of the, the stories, like, where are you gaining some of this inspiration from? Because, it, you know, one's a militia, the other, like, there's, there's, they're not all relatable, right? And they don't all connect. So you're, you're got some stories that are way out there and some that are really approachable. Like, where does this inspiration come from, Demetrius? I don't know. I mean, definitely there's some for sure, maybe some that you know and don't know that you get from personal experiences, sure. and what influence you. And, but uh, a lot of them, they, they just come to my head. Um, and then, you know, obviously with the talent that I've had, they've helped yeah. execute and, and, and add to it and, and make things better too, of course. Yeah. Um, so it's without the team, you know, it's not going to be what it is. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I owe them a huge thanks for all their hard work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm I'm kind of happy that we have the diverse type of genres and stories. I mean, because sure. when you go from IT militia and cyclists, kind of started off grounded, yeah. and then we went to Icarus and Bigs and Tiny, where it's a little more super powered. Yeah. And then we went to like urban fantasy with Devil's Dominion and, and high fantasy with Jin Hunter. Yeah. Uh, Shino Kaye is actually the only one that is not mine. I. I published that for the, the that. team. The team that worked on that, they, they did a fantastic job. I loved that book, so yeah. I was like, "Let me publish it." Yeah, um, and they actually got another book that's coming out. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's a different title, and you'll hear about it soon, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll look out for that. And, uh, then we got Ninja Kaidan, which I always loved ninjas since I was a kid. I love uh, that story, man. That's. That's pretty awesome, man. He has the yeah, suit yeah. and he could see like the other world. And I don't know, man, it's it's pretty dope, man. Yeah, it's something different, you know, yeah. and, and Eric did a great job on that. Yeah. Lucas and, and everybody had input, of course, like to help add things to the story in terms of the look and, to, you know, so like, yeah. um, I, I never want to sit there and be like, oh, it's all me and nobody else, you know, it's, sure, it, sure. it's not true. It's, it's always yeah. a team effort. Um, uh, then we had Dr. Wilder, which is different. Yep. Uh, and then Dream Master right now, which is hot. Yeah, so. yeah. Now, Dream Master's a trip, man. So you, did you read, uh, what, what are you up to? A uh, three, up to issue oh. three. You you finished it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. it's a trip, man. Yeah. It's a trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this this whole, whole other world. And it's almost like every issue, right? If you, like, jump into two, it's kind of okay. Because yeah. it's like different uh, experiences with different people falling into this dream world, right? And then you got the dream master who's trying to protect that person and help them escape, right? And then you have this. I mean, it's it's dope, man. I, like, I don't, I don't even under understand how someone could come up with this concept, man. It's so awesome. I don't awesome. want to ruin it for you, but it does tie in. So, oh, so okay, to, all right. You do need re need to read all of them. All right, very good, very good. Yeah, because as I was reading them, right, one and then two, and I'm like, actually, I could have jumped into two. I'm not that I didn't want to start with one, right? But I mean, if someone did, but I'm glad you said that because you want to make oh, sure I'm that it all Kaya shirt too. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's dope. I got to give me yeah, one of those. Guy, the guys actually got it from here. They're the real nice guy. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Oh, that's uh, so cool, man. So cool. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm actually, we're already working on volume two of Dream Master, volume two of Ninja Kaden, Jin Hunter. So like everything has the potential for, ongoing um, yeah at, at a minimum for a volume two uh and they did well so they deserve yeah. that opportunity um so you try to do like four part series every time and then if they do well then you'll do another four part series or uh, three part 
mostly I've been doing a five issue for each okay. volume. Yep. Um, except I think Cyclist was six and mm-hmm. Shinokaye, that's their own thing. I think they were doing, I think they did three for the first one and four for the second. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Right on, man. So is there one of these worlds that you've created that from a personal side you could relate to the most? I mean, definitely IT. I mean, cause yeah, for sure. Yeah. Obviously you've been in IT for a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. I shouldn't ask um, that. What else? What else? I am planning something bigger in terms of the black box universe, let's call it. Okay. All right. There will be some tie-ins and surprises. Sweet. Uh, And, and, and they work really, really well. Um, Mm. I've been actually spending the last couple of month or two to like figure that all that out. And I've got like this cloud chart and I'm just trying (laughs) to connect everything. Yeah. yeah. I want to make sure that I I don't want to force anything. I want to make sure that it makes sense to connect it. Sure. Um, so yeah, I, I've actually got some really good ones coming. Nice man, nice. I'm excited nice. about that. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of the the big news of the next step then for Black Box then, huh? Is possibly having this tie in with uh that will be a little bit bigger within the universe. So that's pretty cool. What else yeah. do you have planned coming up uh, in the future where you could give us a little snippet of something without giving anything away? Um, like Comic Cons that are coming up. I know there's been a few already taking place out in that uh, tri-state area up in the yeah. northeast um, there's a bunch that i have my eye on but i have not committed to them yet um, okay but i am doing hershey con in pennsylvania okay and uh heroes con out in charlotte okay and heroes is from what i heard a really great show um i think it's like forty thousand plus people i believe wow. for the wow. attendance i believe that's what it was i um uh, I'd have to check, double check, but um, I'm excited for that because that's the first time I'm going to that and the first time I'm going to Hershey and the people who run Hershey have been great too. That's uh, awesome. They actually they actually run Scranton Con, which I did a couple of months back uh, and that was good. And, you know, they're just real good people running the show. Yeah, yeah. How many cons do you try to do a year? Or it just depends? If I, if I could do one every quarter, um, okay, I'd be happy with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be awesome, man. If I could go to one every quarter, it, it, that would be awesome. <laughs> it, it's tough. I mean, I try, but it, I don't always get to do that. But I, I would like to. Yeah. Um, you you know, get out west ever? My, I would say. What happened? Do you get out west at all to any cons out here? Or you stay mainly on the East Coast. I, I did San Diego when I first started out. I think it was probably before I even started Black Box. Oh, okay. Uh with yeah, IT, like was, you went there with IT. Yeah, I was just like, I only had the first issue out, and I was a yeah. guest at somebody's booth, so I was out there. Um, and I did do C two E two, which okay. was cool. That, that was a good show. Um, I haven't done any other shows though in the West, um, yeah. other than San Diego, I believe. Right on. I think that was the only one. That's but that's I would like to do one. some others, like WonderCon, Emerald City. I would love to do. Yeah, Emerald City looks pretty amazing. I've never been to that one. But WonderCon, I think, is coming up right at the end of the month. If I'm not mistaken, at the end of March. I, I, yeah, I think it's soon, yeah. Yeah, and then um, we have an Ontario one, which is a, a city in the Inland Empire, and I heard that one gets pretty crowded. So, yeah, we, you know, they're they're all over the place, man. It's it's crazy how Vegas, much these cons have grown, right? Yeah, Vegas, I think Vegas has one. a decent show, so I'd like, to, I'd like to go to that one as well. Yeah. But we'll see, man. I mean, there's MegaCon. That's another big show to do. I I didn't get a chance to do it this year, so probably next year. Yeah. Yeah, It gets expensive, too, I would think, right, with all the equipment and the issues. and So you got to be careful, right, right? not to overdo it. (laughs) Right. Well, well, that's what I said. When when I say pace, not only just titles, but you got to pace everything that you're doing because expenses could get out of control with printing, with, you know, flight and hotel if you're doing cons, shipping. Right. Like, so you got to be very careful as you're building the business. You got to do it slow and steady. Yeah, you exactly. Know, uh, again, overwhelming yourself or, or the industry is just, it's not going to help you. It might seem like a good idea, but it's not. Yeah. 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 That's really good advice for anybody trying to create their own universe, man. Yeah. 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 Well, that's cool, Mr. Demetrius, man. You've built something pretty amazing and the stories are pretty incredible. So Thank Bigs you. and Tiny is the is that the outside of IT is that the only one that you're kind of one of the main writers on 
I know you've created a lot of these stories, but I don't see your name on the front of the cover on any of them. I have to open up. I'm like, oh, man, Dimitri so, just wrote this story, too. So I, I, I create all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm on the inside cover of all of them, except Shino Kai, yep. uh, the creator. Um, but I don't, you know, I don't put myself as the writer. Um, I try to give all that attention to the guys who are actually, you know, sure. doing the work and the writers, yeah. the artists and all that. And I just put them on the front cover. Yeah. I don't, yeah. To, I don't need to be on the front cover. That's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, man. For sure. And you got some amazing writers too. So it makes sense. And it's pretty yeah. awesome. The, the partnerships and the talent that you're able to get to help bring these creations to life, man. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, they, bro. I mean, They've all done a great job. Uh, yep. Like one guy, Brian, I, I, I did um, three, three titles with him. One of them is not out. It'll be out this later this year. Okay. Um, but he, he wrote Devil's Dominion and Dr. Wilder. Okay. Yep. Um, trying to think. Jay Sandlin, who did a great job on Jin Hunter. Um, and we had Sinayel. She kind of, she helped us out with the, uh, like script editing and, mm-hmm. and the whole like world. Like it, it just, it's just really, really nice. You know, it's yeah. just a great fantasy world that we created there. Uh, Dream Master, I think, is something that could really everybody could kind of relate to. For sure. Uh, everybody's got dreams, nightmares. And yeah. It would be cool to have someone like that kind of run through the <laughs> whole thing with you, right? And then Exactly, yeah. Come out alive would be cool. Yeah, that would be awesome, man. No, that that is a pretty dope story, man. That, that was a lot of fun to read. And I think that's Jonathan Hedrick, right, that wrote right. that one? Yeah. yeah 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 jonathan's great um i mean i'm I'm hoping to do some more stuff we are like i said we're already doing volume two and, and we're about to actually start volume three scripts oh wow um uh, but you know hopefully we get to do other stuff too and we'll, we'll see how everything goes you know it's all about like scheduling timing with everybody sure. you know? yeah yeah that's cool man so what's what's next on your reading list for us from us well i mean Let's see here. I got them all. I mean, I have to read Jin Hunter. I just got that one in yesterday. I did a video of that one. Um, I started uh, Dr. Wilder um, last night, and so I'll have to get some of those issues. And then I got to read uh, issue four of Ninja Kate. And I already read one and two. I read three last night because I started off with just, I usually buy like one or two, see if I like them. Um, And then if I like them, then I'm all in, man. So then I had to go on the on your site and get the next two. So you'll let me know your favorite one that's giveaways end, right? and stuff. What's that? Yeah. I said, you'll let me know your favorite one at the end. Yeah, for sure. I mean, so far, I mean, I don't know, man, the dream. Yeah. Dream master so far, man, that one just gave me the chills, bro. I don't know, man. I just, I really enjoy that. The art is a trip. It's beautiful. It's insane, it's insane, insane, man. Like there's one part where they go in and the guy's dreaming. And it's like a meat factory with uh i was like dude this is crazy bro yeah i if you go back to those pages and look through them and and you start looking for more detail you'll find more things that you didn't catch the first time i guarantee it detail is in there i mean no uh, for sure yeah i was focusing on the story right and you're trying to go across but then i'm like going back going what the hell is that man (laughs) this is awesome yeah it's 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 insane i mean jonathan's written a great script and, and luigi just killed yeah. it man he just knocked it out of the park with his art for sure for sure and then, and then even, i would say militia is a pretty good one too i like militia a lot yeah militia's good even ruben i was gonna say the uh curdle the colorist on dream master he's got his work cut out having to color all that you know for sure man because it's uh there's there's not like a base that they could kind of cover everything with and then go in like everything is so detailed man that like yeah. even in the meat factory right each piece of meat is like a different color and you're like dude it that guy has got his work cut out for him trying to put yeah. all that together. Yeah, I mean, uh, issue two was great with all the clown scenes. Yeah. And, you know. I yeah, mean, if you really... freak out over clowns, you're going to freak out over this one, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I, what was it, the, the, that movie with the clowns? Uh, outer Clowns? Clowns from oh, Outer Space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a truth. Somebody, somebody was mentioning that to me. They're like, oh, that movie always freaked me out. And that's what I was like thinking of. I was like, oh, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun i mean we you know we got a couple of variants I, I try not to overdo it on the variants yeah um again it's it's a thing that i i do for fun because i like seeing another artist take a crack at it sure um, it's something for collectors and for retailers but you don't want to again overwhelm the industry with a hundred variants or <laughs> or buy a hundred copies to get one copy uh yeah, for, yeah. you know that's just too much so 
I, I can tell I, you I, as a collector, man, um, I'm not a completionist on a lot of things, but some things I am, you know, I'm a big Superman guy. And I think it was uh, 1050 had 20 or 30 variants just for one issue of DC. I'm like, who who's going to be able to collect all that, man? That's really tough. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot, man. That's a lot of variants. I mean, I can't tell others what to do if it works for them, then it works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I just don't think for me that, that that's a good way or a good approach. Yeah. Know? Yeah, that it's poor completeness is probably it. smacking his head into walls or her her head into walls trying to find all these different variants, man, to complete their, uh, their series. Yeah, and then, I mean, you also have to be considerate of the fans, too. I mean, they have a budget that they can work with in order exactly. to buy and support whatever yeah. they're buying um whether it's indie or or big two doesn't matter yeah uh, you don't want to overwhelm them you know yeah yeah good point man i think one of my last questions is black box where how did you come up with that name black box comics oh uh, we were playing around with a whole bunch of names but i just thought black box was like when i think of a black box is like something locked into a, a black box right yeah. and it's like stories that haven't been told yet ah uh, nice I like so that. That's how I see uh, that we came up with the name. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. I thought, I thought it was a good name. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I mean, your even your design is pretty dope, too. Yeah, I had a good designer. It's a cool logo. It is a cool logo, man. It, it is really a cool, cool logo. Like I was just thinking like in airplanes, they have a black box, right? So if anything goes down, they could go back and and ensure that they could hear everything that would happen that way they could pinpoint the issue. So I thought right. maybe it had something to do with that, but I, I kind of yeah, does, I, I guess mean, it's, it's <laughs> that was part of, that was one of the things we brought up. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it, it, it's just a good way to tell stories. I mean, yeah. and, and I thought a black box would just work with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Sounds nice, right? <laughs> it does, man. It rolls off the tongue really nice. <laughs> it worked out and and you know i'm happy like six years later we're here and we've got fantastic fans that have supported us people like you have supported us the retailers uh and you know we're, we're just constantly growing and i'm happy to see numbers going up yeah uh, whether whether it's social media numbers or financial numbers it's yeah. everything's just on the rise so that's that's great yeah um, hopefully the industry continues to you know, go that way as, as a whole, not just for us, yeah. but for everyone, you know? No, for sure, right? All boats rise. So we certainly want a strong industry. I do think uh, from what we're seeing from numbers, right? I think the big two um, have struggled a little bit on numbers, right? If you look at the numbers, you know, from a year ago, manga has really been super popular in the US. So we're seeing numbers right. on traditional superhero uh, go down a little bit but i think one of the bright points has really been the indie scene right and there's a lot of people yep. kind of jumping in which i think is great um, because there's a lot of stories outside of the superhero genre and don't get me wrong i love my superheroes yeah, of course. Um, as you can see man i love superhero stories there's always but a it place is, for it of course there is exactly but i i love getting into some of the the stuff like you do and there's other great uh writers out there that i've had an opportunity to meet uh actually right there in uh I think he's in the Bronx, but Newton, who owns um, Dream Fury Comics, I interviewed him not too long okay. ago. Okay. And, uh, you know, what I mean, there's all these amazing stories that are taking place and they're they're yeah. not your traditional superhero. And I love it, man. You're like entering these new worlds that you forget exist right outside of superheroes. Yeah, well, the indie scene has created a nice outlet for people to go and build their creation and yep. not have to you don't have to rely on just the big two or anybody else to give yeah. you that, that opportunity. You could self publish now easier than you ever could before. For sure. So um, I, I tell people, don't wait for someone to do it for you. Just yeah. do it yourself. You Jump know? in. Right. You'll never know until you do it. And Hey man, if it fails, like I say, I did it right. And, and uh, that was Look, a passion. Man. Now, now you have more distributors involved in the game. Yeah. You have things like Kickstarter yeah, uh, there's so many avenues that you could take. I mean, obviously, you could do direct yourself. Um, so, you know, th there's a lot of opportunities for creators and they're taking yeah. things into their own hands by owning their creation yeah. and, and self-publishing and, and probably making more money doing it that way. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. They The the industry has made it a lot easier for people to enter in for sure. And, and yeah. I think there's a... Uh, a benefit to fans that that has happened because like, I, I wouldn't know who you were to be honest, 
if uh, the indie scene wasn't as strong and I wasn't on Google trying to figure out what else is out there and I'm like, man, black box, what the hell is this? And then boom, oh man, this is pretty dope. <laughs> I should have been reading this a long time. I did find this. <laughs> on the internet. I was just browsing around on Oh, TikTok. just random browsing? Okay. Just random browsing and then um, you know, I'm a big Batman fan and obviously Chuck Dixon, um, you know, is a big part of my upbringing, right? I mean, the Batman family and all that good stuff. And I think I was looking up um, like a trade of his that kind of tied in a lot of his Batman stories into one. Um, like I do for Scott Snyder. I have his books too when he had his run with Batman. Um, yeah. And then I saw Militia. I'm like, I didn't know he wrote a comic Militia. And then I saw Black Box and then, you know, just messing around. And then I, I went to your website. I'm like, holy cow, there's a, there's a bunch of different things that they're doing. So that's why I had to reach out and like, Demetrius, man, this is pretty dope, man. Let's talk, man. I, I, well, I love what you man, guys are doing. Yeah, we're keeping busy, man. I mean, um, like I said, I, th I think that was what our eleventh title, and yeah. and I got like fifteen in the works. Some some of the fifteen are like the volume twos, but yeah. a lot of them are new, are new titles. So new teams. So so you'll get to see some new talent that you haven't seen before, probably. Yeah. Uh, that that that's always fun because I, I I love seeing new talent come out and yeah. showing people what they got, and like Luigi's one of them. I you know. Uh, at these he's kind of wowed everybody just on the art alone like you could just go through the book just looking at the art you know for sure yeah yeah uh, so does he yeah, live in uh the tri-state area too or yeah i'm in new york i'm in new york no Black you're Rock artists people. oh no um they're all over the place man i mean all, u.s other countries i, I mean yeah. it's everywhere so it's great you get to connect with people from everywhere and tell stories from sure. different aspects, different point of views, um, you know, and, and, and that that's important, you know. For sure, yeah. I'm telling you, the the more I dig into this, the more I'm finding these artists in the Philippines and Brazil's been blowing up for the last couple of years with amazing artists. Oh yeah, um, they have Russia. It's everywhere. crazy. They're, they're, <laughs> crazy. I mean, the more you dig into it, the more you see there's just talent everywhere. Everywhere, I agree with you, you know, man. There, there's no limitations, <laughs> and, and, and people will all bring something unique to the table. You know, agree, man. The style of art, or or the the perspective of how they want to tell a story, you yeah. know, it's just it's amazing. So it's it's wonderful to see all that. For sure, for sure. No, I couldn't agree with you anymore, man. What do you want to leave us with, Mister Demetrius? You got a message for us, man? As a creator, um, to other people who are maybe thinking about jumping in. I know you said you just got to do it, but uh, what else you got for us, man? I I, I just think you have to not worry about what people are going to say yeah <laughs> right because there's always going to be criticism um yep, everybody's yep. very sensitive to their creation yeah uh, but you, you got to plow through it um and don't worry about that just put out your story because you're unique yourself um, yeah so yeah. you're going to put out something special and tell the story the way that you want to tell it yeah yeah that's but good I, advice I, I think that's very important yeah yeah well, that's awesome, Demetrius, man. I can't tell you how much I appreciate. I want to be respectful of your time, um, but well, I can't you. tell you how much I appreciate you coming on and sharing all your wisdom and all your creations with us, man. Um, I think I have uh, Jonathan Hedrick next that I'll be uh, meeting with. Awesome. Uh, um, so I'm super excited about that. I really yeah, appreciate Jonathan, you being Jonathan's so cool, man. Jonathan's a good guy. You'll have a great interview with him. He does well on interviews. Yeah, yeah. He seems like a really good person, man. Yeah, he is. He is. He yeah. Is, well, we thank you uh, for being on, Demetrius. Thanks, I really man. appreciate you. I hope we can connect in the near future when some of these other things are are more finalized so you could share them and stuff like that. Let's bring you on and and try and blow yeah, it up, man, because I'm really uh, happy for your success, my friend. Definitely. Thank you, man. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, you bet, man. Have a great one, okay? Thank you, man. Take care. All right. Talk soon. Bye.